What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be doing a demo on how to check your heart and respiratory rate on Android with your camera using the Google Fit app. Not only does it sound futuristic, but this could be a helpful feature if you don't have a smartwatch, which generally measures these metrics automatically. As always, check to make sure you have the latest version of the app from the Google Play Store. This ensures that you have the latest UI and features. For reference, I'm using the Pixel 5 running Android 11. As always, I only feature products or services I buy or would like to buy. This gives the channel more credibility and appeal because we feature items that interest me and change the way we live. Don't have time to watch the whole video? We're now a podcast you can find on multiple platforms by searching for Pixels Cracked. You can also support the podcast by downloading the Anchor app and making a small monthly donation on that platform. And if you are listening to this on a podcast, you can find the more detailed video and YouTube channel by searching for Pixels Cracked as well. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are in the Google Fit app, and the first thing we want to set up is heart rate tracking. So we're going to scroll down here until we see check your heart rate, and then we're going to tap on get started. Now this is where things get futuristic. Again, we can measure our heart rate with our phone's camera. Now Google likes to point out that this feature isn't only helpful for measuring your heart rate after things like exercise, but also after other things like drinking caffeine. So we're going to go ahead and tap next. And then this is Google being their typical Google self. And they put on the top here, you just need to give us a hand. Literally, you're going to be using a finger from your hand to give them this measurement so that they can figure out your heart rate. Now the way this works is unfortunately you're not using the front camera. I thought that's what we were going to be using, but you're actually using your rear facing camera. Now one of the most important things to mention here is obviously you're going to need a well lit area to get this reading and Google also states that in this lower paragraph and we're going to tap next. Next, we have this dialog box which appears and that's just asking for permission for Google Fit to use your cameras to get the measurement. And of course, we do want to give it permission, so I'm going to tap while using the app. Now, this next page just gives you more information about how to get an accurate heart rate measurement with your rear camera. And it's just saying apply light pressure with your fingers. So we're going to give this a try. We're going to tap start measurement. And then you can see that our rear camera image shows up here and we're going to put our finger right over. You can see that is going to turn the whole camera screen red and it's detecting the pulse. And this is actually cool. You can see that information is actually starting to show up here. This is actually really futuristic. I was not expecting it to be like this uh, informative. I was expecting that maybe it would say like wait a minute and they wouldn't really like show this little chart at the bottom. Uh, but you can see we get our measurement there. Heart rate 86 beats per minute and we can save that measurement. So that's what we're going to do. Now once our heart rate measurement is recorded, you can see that the app returns us to the previous screen. Now the next thing we want to try is tracking our respiratory rate. So we're going to scroll down until we get to this card here. It says track your respiratory rate and then we're going to tap on get started. Now this page just lets us know that this feature again uses our camera to measure our respiratory rate. And then we have the description towards the bottom of the screen and that just lets us know that our respiratory rate may vary depending on the situation. So we're going to go ahead and tap next. Now again, this gets very futuristic here. It's going to tell us simply position yourself within the frame, but the more futuristic part is at the bottom here. It says fit will detect small movements in your chest to measure your respiratory rate. And that's just amazing. Now there are some guidelines you're going to have to follow here according to this lower paragraph. And that just lets us know that you have to remove items that may cover your face, including hats and mask and wait a few minutes if you've been active recently. So that being said, I'm going to take my hat off here and then we're going to tap next. 
Now this next page just gives you more detailed information about how to use your phone to get the respiratory rate measurement. And basically all you have to do is prop your phone up on a stable surface so that you can comfortably see yourself from the waist up when measurement starts. Now according to this image, it looks like we'd be using that rear facing camera again for this measurement as well, but it's actually going to be the selfie or front facing camera. So we're going to tap on start measurement and you'll see in a moment. So here we are, it's detecting face and chest. Look at the camera and remain still. Now in this event, I think my camera is pointed too high up. So I'm actually going to point it down a little bit and I don't know, there we go. It's just starting automatically. And I don't know if talking is going to affect it. And I don't even know how this is working, but it's just very impressive. We've got that little chart there at the bottom. Um, hopefully me talking is not going to ruin it all that much. I'm going to be a little more quiet here, focused. This is almost meditative in itself. Measurement complete. I don't know how accurate this is. I would have to, I would have to like actually check this against something else. So final thoughts. Obtaining your heart and respiratory rate with your camera on Android with the Google Fit app is a futuristic feature. It's also helpful if you don't have other tools to do so. However, I'm not feeling too confident in that respiratory rate measurement. I would have to try that out a little bit more and do some more research about how this is actually obtained to actually get more confident in the reading. Now, if you're going to be doing this often, especially after a sweaty workout, you can imagine that that camera lens is going to get smudged up. It's going to get dirty. You're going to have to clean it more often. And on some devices like the Pixel devices, you'll actually get the warning that the camera lens is dirty. Overall, I'm very excited about this feature though, because again, it's very futuristic and is certainly lit, life improving technology. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the channel and podcast. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything that you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support us is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe or follow button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on whether you like the video or the podcast. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah.